Candace Warner has suffered a heartbreaking miscarriage in the aftermath of her husband David's involvement in the cricket cheating scandal. Speaking to the Australian Women's Weekly on Wednesday, the mother of two, 33, revealed the couple lost their unborn baby a week after the vice captain of the Australian cricket team addressed the scandal at a press conference in March. I was bleeding. We knew I was miscarrying. We held one another and cried, she told the publication. The former Iron Woman believes her distress at the time could have caused the tragic loss. David was banned for 12 months by Cricket Australia after being accused of masterminding a ploy to scuff the ball illegally in Cape Town. David, former captain Steve Smith and Cameron Bancroft were all punished for their plan to cheat by using sandpaper to change the condition of the ball during a test match against South Africa in Cape Town in March. Candace said she and David, who were parents to daughters Ivy May, 3, and Indy Ray, 2, were overjoyed by the thought of welcoming a third child to their growing brood. She explained that the couple had been trying for their third baby since July last year, and were thrilled by a positive pregnancy test when they arrived in Cape Town. When news of the ball tampering scandal broke and they returned to Sydney, Candace feared her unborn child would be affected by the added stress and strain of traveling home on the 23-hour flight. During his press conference in March, David became particularly emotional while apologizing to wife Candace and the couple's two young children for the effect his actions had on them. After admitting he regretted taking part in the cheating scandal, David apologized for harming the reputation of cricket in Australia before addressing his wife directly. Your love means more than anything to me. I know I would not be anything without you. I'm very sorry for putting you through this and I promise I will never put you through this again," a teary-eyed David said. At the time, Candace made it clear there was no excuse for her husband's mistake, but noted their family had endured a tough month in South Africa. A week after the press conference where she was seen sobbing, she said she faced more bad news. I called Dave to the bathroom and told him I was bleeding. We knew I was miscarrying. We held one another and cried. The miscarriage was a heartbreaking end to a horror tour. The ordeal from the public humiliations to the ball tapering had taken its toll, she said. Candace admitted to letting the public backlash and taunting affect her, adding, It rocked my very foundation and I paid the ultimate price, losing our baby. I wonder how all those who came after me feel now? She said she in some ways felt responsible for their loss, telling the publication she initially felt her body had let the family down. Candace called for sympathy and patience from Australian fans when the scandal first emerged, saying the batsman was struggling to cope with the fallout. The couple were subjected to trolling on social media, with some fans leaving abusive comments directed towards their children on Happy Snaps posted to Instagram. In addition, while the Australian cricket team was touring South Africa, some cricket fans wore masks of Sonny Bill Williams' face in order to get under the skin of David. The controversial masks were in reference to a toilet tryst scandal that occurred between the NRL player and Candace in 2007, years before she met David. Photos emerged of the high-profile pair engaged in sexual activity in a toilet cubicle, which made headlines at the time. Candace told Sunday Telegraph in March, two of people staring and pointing and laughing at me, to have the signs, to have, you know, the songs made up about me, I would have to sit there and cop that. David spoke at a Milo Cricket Clinic in Darwin in May after his disastrous press conference, which is now believed to be after the miscarriage had occurred. He told the NT News the scandal had made him focus on family especially being more present with his wife and children. I've missed that part until now where the kids run up to the gate saying, Mommy and Daddy are here, and I am really enjoying and embracing that, he said. Candace and David have been inseparable since first meeting in 2013 and wed three years ago in the Southern Highlands at a luxury estate. 